as you know, the palm fruit is a colored fruit, and many of the pigments are derived as from phenolic compounds. And the phenolics in the aspect that we work on are the water-soluble phenolics. So when they're processing the palm fruit, they use water into uh, steam and inactivate enzymes as they go into the crushing aspect. Those phenolics from the palm fruit uh, accumulate in this water fraction and what we have developed primarily through MPOB is a process to isolate, concentrate, and formulate these phenolics into products. The second question is when will be the when will they be ready for the consumer? And the challenge is that we have to develop a large scale manufacturing plant to produce oil palm phenolics on a commercial scale. Uh, to date, uh, most of the oil palm phenolics and all of it being done in the studies that you've heard about are the product of a small pilot plant at Labu. And that pilot plant is primarily for research purposes and it's not for consumer activities or consumer consumption to date. Hopefully, when we get the plant built, uh, we will have readily available products. And these products from oil palm phenolics can be f formulated either as drinks, they can be formulated as food ingredients, as coloring and antioxidant components, and they can be formulated as specific wellness um, uh, treatments. They also, the phenolic can be dried and reconstituted like a tea or other type of thing. So the product diversity will be very large and should be able to address many different uh, consumer markets. Well, we hope that there will be really significant uh, benefits in the area of what we would call wellness and preventive health. We have a working hypothesis that the oil palm phenolics are very synergistic in their opportunity to modulate uh, adverse reactions in the body, primarily around controlling reactive oxygen species. We know, for example, that the oil palm phenolics in animal models have been shown to be preventive in diabetes in, in the Nile rat model. We have both in vitro cell culture data as well as animal models to show that they are um, effective in age-dependent macular degeneration, which is very important here in Malaysia and actually is uh, almost an epidemic. And then um, in the area of neurodegenerative diseases.